Hey, everybody. Man, I just got out of bed because I'm doing another 24 hour fast. Maybe 48 if I can swing it. We'll, we'll see. I wanted to check on my plants. And it looks like this one's very droopy. It's not good. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe the soil was a little too loose. Or maybe they're just not holding up. I don't know. Japanese maples. I don't know yet. And man, none of them look super cute right now. But you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I feel like I might need to actually try this whole thing with rooting hormone and like order some. Try it out. We'll see. But they're better off when you um, when you keep them like under some kind of dome or bubble where you can keep the humidity in anyway. So like planting them right in the yard was always a, a maybe. And it looks like the original dogwood cutting might have given up too. It was trying to grow a new branch there, but maybe not. But you know what? I still have like six pots ready for experiments then. You know, it's not the end of the world. Plus, next time I go to Lake Elkhorn, I can just grab more. It might be one of those situations we just keep on trying until something works. And we got a little sprout of something here. Not sure what that is. The kiwis. This one actually came up rooted the other day. I had to replant it, but it looks okay. And I tried to, like, ponytail all of the vines up here. <laughs> Now they're drooping over though. I don't know, I might just cut those down a little bit. We got some more new growth coming up on the roses. Look at this, this is coming along. Oh, twin flame trees finally losing leaves. Yeah, it looks like this um, stem's gonna die. But it's choosing this one right here. That's where it's gonna branch out next. So, we at least know for certain that the tree is not giving up. It's going back to its foundation. And it might, even though it's favoring this one right now, it might end up stimulating even more, more um, nubs, nodules, whatever they're called. And it looks like it is starting to grow from here as well. So, we are going to have growth from the twin flame side as well as from the base of our side. The holly looking cute. And damn, these dills are getting fucking tall, man. These things are just shooting up. Oh, the Tatsui mustard's flowering. Did I, t did I show you that? It's making little yellow flowers. Which I think is pretty neat. Look, look at that. It's making um, something right in the middle there, too. And the cilantro looks like it's going to flower as well. I didn't know any of these things made flowers. It's so cool. But yeah, I'm kind of like, I haven't actually harvested any herbs here. I've just kind of let everything run its course. And I think that's probably, probably how I'm going to let it continue for now. My sister parked a trailer all over the grassy part that I've been like nurturing. It better not kill it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and the rosebuds are also starting to wane. You know, I think it's hard to remember sometimes that these things, they happen in a flash, you know? You wind up with this really beautiful, picture-perfect, like, rosebud. And then, a week later, it's run its course and it's ready to go to make way for new growth. It's like these lettuces were originally all leafy and huge and now they are working on creating seeds for the next wave which I think I might just plant I might just like let them seed out and try and get them to reseed in the pot that they're currently in and just watch it happen all over again but you know everything that doesn't work out here every pot that winds up empty is just an opportunity for something else I'm actually looking forward to clearing up some space and starting a new project.
I'm not sure exactly what yet, but you know, it's just another adventure. Anyway, my sister's boyfriend just mowed the lawn, so like all my clovers are gone. I'm gonna have to wait for them to regrow before I get a chance at looking for some more. I guess the yard looks cute now though. I kind of like it better overgrown. Maybe that's just a me thing. <laughs> but like this patch in, in particular, this little triangle is where I go to ground most of the time. So like, I'll get done with Ricky or you know, whatever I'm doing. And I'll come out and stand in the center of this patch. And normally it's really like lush and overgrown with nothing but clovers. And I really like that. Oh, it's some crazy little moss ball. Like what's that all about? Hmm. Interesting. I need to fill up these pots with something too. Like my mom gave me those when we were in Tennessee. And I think they look awesome, but I need to find something I actually want to put in there. I don't know. And the neighbor started a tree and I don't know what it is yet. But it's just a little baby. I'm thinking about trying maybe a lemon tree. My mom's got one of those and she had a good time with it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll give that a shot. And they've got some kind of holly that's not like the same kind of holly as I've got. It's got like a whole different like vibe. It's got really small leaves. And I haven't seen any fruits on it, but it's got like really small leaves. They're a different shape than I'm used to. And the branches, they kind of like curve up at the ends almost. And um, mine does that a little bit, but it's like it's almost like it droops down and then spirals up. Not spirals, it waves up. Hmm. I don't know what kind of trees I got in the back here. I've been thinking about, like, they look so thick, you know what I mean? They could just be more maples squirrel yeah judging by those leaves I think they're just more maples but look at that the size of these guys they're huge and that bark it's incredible giant trees apparently those trees are so old that like during cicada season um, the roots underneath are just like covered in cicada eggs. So when you have one of those 10 year cycles where they um, they finally hatch out, it gets fucking crazy and they're just everywhere. I haven't experienced that since the last time I was in Maryland 10 years ago. <sighs> it should be an adventure, but I think, I think we're coming up on one of those years where the cicadas are everywhere. You know, I've never actually done got a pine tree here or something like that some kind of conifer I've never actually done a pine tree it's a thought I don't really like pines though they make bad bonsais I think this one's some kind of maple too it's just maples fucking everywhere I'm tired of maples except that Japanese maple I really hope that one pulls through Oh yeah, I think, I think that about wraps it up. I went outside, I left the house today, mission accomplished. Now I'm about to like go back to bed. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a reading real quick and then go back to bed. Honestly, this whole fasting thing, I think this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one where I make it longer than 24 hours. Wish me luck. Oh, and I got this crazy, like, cooling stand for my computer. So, like, the fans turn on and it lights up and it keeps everything cool and you can angle it. So, that's pretty neat. But I've been using that. I think I'm going to start streaming again. Um, probably, probably tomorrow. But yeah, that was it.